you all so much for joining me here. This is going to be your reading for your general and love energies for the day, sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. This reading will also resonate with you, but take the energies as it resonates and leave out on the stuff that do not resonate with you guys. So now I will be tuning in with your past, present and the future energies for you guys, Libra. So for your past first. Yes, so maybe you were somebody who wanted to start fresh. You wanted to let go of anything left behind, like that is anything that was uh, a black mark on you or anything that you felt like pulled you down, any kind of negativity, any kind of hopeless situations. You are kind of ready to start fresh. You are in that mode is what I believe. You are ready to start fresh. With the emperor, again, I feel like you were the person who expresses whatever you feel, some type of an authority or people were authoritative over you. And I feel like you, the people who were loyal to you kind of followed you up. The people who didn't love you left you behind, something like that. But I feel like you were in a spot where people really did respect you. They respected who you are and what you are. Your opinions mattered. <clears throat> and yes guys with the wheel of fortune in reverse i feel like the destiny didn't give you what you wanted a uh, libras and this really made you feel bad some horrible things definitely happened to you and there is a lot of hurt here a lot of thinking a lot of hurt overflowing emotions oh my god uh, libra so you even lost somebody libra so there is a lot and lot of disastrous event traumatic event that definitely happened which made you grow to the person you are right now and every day is like a battle within yourself you're going through every day seems like a battle within yourself you're going through you're working you're doing stuff you're trying to grow you're trying to become the person who you want to become but there is still certain things that you keep lingering back to with your past that you cannot still let go of definitely that is what i can see here and do not worry if this is your um, reading and this is how your life is it is going to change for the better let us see what is coming up for your love situation guys libras what is coming up for your love situation libras you are not going to take any kind of bullshit if people are going to give you some kind of a bad energy negativity or just going away from that situation and never looking back on that that is what i can see here with the high priestess wow this is very very beautiful card to um, you you are going to trust your intuition going with your intuition with the nine of pentacles i feel like you guys are very much loving how everything is turning out for you with the nine of pentacles it's just like you're taking care of yourself taking care of your hair skin and uh, trusting your intuition growing in your feminine or in your masculine energy kind of like uh, growing yourself in the best way possible okay that is how you are right now i see a lot of growth happening within you even you might do a lot of shopping but that can be somebody who is going to betray you guys but also there is somebody who is going to give you some kind of a commitment and this person uh, there are two people involved in your life one who is going to cheat you mercilessly kind of lying about certain things and cheating you mercilessly and the other person is going to give you that commitment in whatever it might be okay i feel like you are not willing to accept this due to your past trauma or the energy can be vice versa like you've just gone through a lot to accept any kind of a relationship any kind of a love so you kind of friend zone this person or something like that and uh, this person might be like talking about you to their family they're being very very cautious with their um, speech 
because they don't want to seem like a needy person in front of their parents or in front of their friends because definitely this person loves you a lot they're willing to give you something but you are not reciprocating the love a libras and this person is definitely talking about you to their parents or friends or maybe like the situation is such that this person wants to but they're not coming forward with it to you but instead of coming forward with it to you they're kind of asking the people's opinions others opinions about how they all feel about this uh connection that you have so definitely they don't want to seem needy or they don't want to seem desperate but they are talking about you to their family they're asking the family support or something guys this person is definitely wanting some kind of a commitment some kind of a marriage or something that is very much um, aligned i would say something that is uh, very much making this person uh, look forward with you they want to they see a future with you and even if like you are not very 100 percent sure about it they are talking a lot about you gossiping about you to the family talking about you to the family wanting this relationship with you so keep watching because now i will be reading out a letter this person has me guys so keep watching bye so this is going to be the detailed letter this person has for you guys this will re relate and resonate for anybody so keep watching so what is the love letter this person has? Let me just read this out, maybe out of camera because I can see it properly. Okay, so the letter goes, Hi, my beloved. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't know where I'm at right now. Things are really crazy for me. I really miss you. I regret whatever I said. It was not me, it was someone else inside of me and I wouldn't have reacted a similar way if I was, it was me. Things are really taking a reality check for me. Things are turning out really awkward. I know I left you and went on into a third party, but do not think like that because you're the only person that I've always been thinking about no matter where I am, what I was doing. You would always come to me in the morning as soon as I wake up and at night before I sleep. You are the thought that I'm having on an everyday basis and a life without you seems very hectic. Like I don't know what would happen if I move away from you. And yes, I have tried moving away from you. It almost seems impossible for me to move away from you. No matter what I do, you're the first thought that comes to my mind. Especially when I eat, I always think about you. And when I sleep, I always miss you. When I wake up, I miss you by my side. And my day goes on and on just without you by my side but i'm really looking forward to get you back into my life i cannot be without you i cannot be without your cuddles with your kisses your hugs it just means a lot to me i just miss you too much to even express how much i miss you because i cannot express my feelings in words that is how much i miss you Oh my god guys this is a very very beautiful letter i don't know if i've written it or it's just coming in my mind because this is a very very beautiful letter so this person really loves you so much and they've met a few people and none of them gave them this amazing feeling that you have given them guys and that is something that they are stressing on because there is no one like you they love you too much they have you too much and they just cannot uh, think a life that is without you without your presence that is how much this person loves cares and wants you in the life just two more cards to see what else this person wants to tell you i 
can still feel you so this is very beautiful this person no matter where they are they're still feeling your presence that is how much this connection is for them this is definitely a twin flame or a soulmate connection because i'm a tarot reader and i can literally feel a very high vibe with these cards your intensity frightens me and allures me yes definitely a twin flame connection this person is going nuts without you they don't know where the life is heading at without you by their side so there is a lot going on within this person's mind that certain thoughts are even unexplainable for them maybe they can only express it right it is easier to express certain things than explain certain things so they're mostly coming towards you really really soon guys and yes thank you all so much for joining me here like comment and subscribe if this reading resonates bye guys see you all tomorrow bye